yes, thank you for the invitation. Uh, I'm glad that I can show you some of my uh, work and also uh, the, the concepts and the, the tools that I'm working with. And if I don't make sense, uh, I can blame it on the time difference to Seoul. And, but I hope uh, I will make sense. And I will start uh, just uh, with a, a video, an excerpt of a video work that I did uh, in 2016. And um, it's called uh, Cool Clouds that look like they should be spelling something, but they don't. And uh, for this work, um, I revisited an old um, collection of images that I took from, the, from Flickr. We heard a lot of Flickr about Flickr yesterday from this uh, photo sharing site. And um, so uh, I searched this platform for uh, certain search terms um, like. Um, nature terms, uh, a cloud and uh, wave in combination with adjectives like cool and crazy and there were more but uh, yeah um, so I entered these search terms in the platform and uh, how I did select the, the, the images was not so much about uh, visual criteria, but more uh, text criteria. I looked at the descriptions, the captions beneath the images, and um, if there was something interesting in there, I, I saved the image and I saved in a text file also the caption. So um, the aesthetics um, of the image was not that important. There were a few criteria, especially if it was only a cool cloud and nothing written more. Then I had criteria like uh, is only the sky visible and no, no uh, landscape, no persons. Um, but the main criteria were, were uh, language criteria, so I was interested in the relation between uh, the image that is uploaded and how people describe uh, the image. And also that's how you find uh, the image. Uh, it depends on how they are tagged uh, or they used to. Maybe it's changing now. but. Um, in Flickr, which is, uh, like we heard also yesterday, is quite old-fashioned a little bit. Uh. So, yeah, um, I ended up with this collection, and it was actually in 2012 uh, that I did this collection. So I had it stored on my drive, and I did not really know what to do with it. I tried to print it out, um, but I did not come to a solution. So after four years uh, for an exhibition that was called uh, the second nature, I thought uh, I can return to this folder and see how, what I can do with it. So I found this solution of taking um, screen capture videos. So I take the folder, I go through the folder and I let... Um, and while I browse the folder, um, uh, the computer voice is reading the, the respective um, captions to these images. So I will just uh, play a quick excerpt. There lies Nature captured and captioned. There, on the edge of the pool, still poisoned from the night before. You would linger for hours, studiously perverting your sense of beauty with criteria I can only partially reconstruct. There lies the folder containing what you saw and decided to save. There lies the file containing the captions you read and decided to keep. Cool. Cloud. Cool cloud. Cool cloud. Cool cloud. Cool cloud. Cool cloud. Really cool clouds. Really cool clouds. Another cool cloud. Really cool clouds. Cool clouds. Cool clouds. Cool cloud and cool picture. Another cool cloud. Really cool cloud. Really cool clouds. Another cool cloud. Cool cloud. You could almost reach out and touch it. Cool clouds. Really cool clouds. A really cool cloud. Really cool clouds. Cool clouds. Cool cloud. Cool looking cloud. Really cool clouds. They don't look cool in the pictures though. Hard to see but they were pretty damn cool clouds. 
Cool cloud. Really cool clouds that look like they should be spelling something, but they don't. The clouds looked really cool, and I thought they'd make a good background. Cool cloud. The clouds looked really cool that day. Cool cloud. Cool clouds. Cool clouds. The clouds looked cool but they kept a nice sunset from happening. Call me a loser, but I thought this cloud was cool. Cool enough to take two pics of it. Cool looking cloud. Another cool cloud. Another cool cloud. Yeah, and it goes on and it uh, just goes through this uh, um, yeah, order of adjective and nature. Adjective and nature, cloud and wave. So you can hear uh, there is a lot of uh, repetition of just cool cloud, but uh, in between there are some uh, reflections on uh, taking pictures. The moment that uh, you saw the cloud and uh, and the complaining about how the photography fails uh, afterwards, you cannot really see how cool it was. So these are the kind of things that interested me when I went uh, through this. Um, through these search results, and for me this is a, is a tool for thinking about the images and thinking about the relation between language and... and uh, why is it so slow suddenly? Ah, I restricted the... sorry. I conditioned the, the network for later, but not now. <laughs> yeah, so I went through it and uh, looked um, if there was something interesting uh, uh, in the descriptions of the images and it's a tool to uh, think about uh, why while I go through these search results for hours and whole afternoons I spent uh, of this I, I I don't really know what I'm looking for but uh, while I'm searching I the criteria change I, I come up with new ideas and then maybe I try a different search term and uh, yeah, and the questions uh, come when I look at the images and the descriptions. Why do people um, maybe um, tag the, these uh, images as cool clouds? Is cool uh, an aesthetic criteria? But mostly, I've, if I find uh, it's uh, cool is a random word, you can use it for, for a lot of things. And is there a difference between a cool cloud and a crazy cloud? Can you see it? Or is it just uh, because it's just a, just a nice uh, text piece in the end? So this, uh, that's, yeah. And for this work, I found that uh, Flickr was uh, the right tool. And 2012, I did not, have not heard of Instagram. Maybe it was not even there yet. 2012. Yeah. yeah, I think it's just around then. But mm -hmm. I did not know of it. And even today, um, I prefer to come back to Flickr because somehow it suits me uh, well. Yeah, let's see. And yeah, also you a lot of art is done if you delegate this selection. Could you delegate it to a to a machine to write an algorithm to select these images? But I think for me it's important that I have the experience of uh, spending hours looking at these images and reading the text. And only then I, um, while I do this, I de develop the, this kind of criteria for a, for selection and the algorithm that I could write. Maybe afterwards, if I was precise enough, but for me, it's the experience that I have while looking at these images very important. And I also uh, started to keep a, um, to make search notes to write down what I what I did for these hours, um, and I write down yeah the experience of me sitting in front of the computer. Um, in this physical space, and but also um, at the same time at this other space, and almost creating a, an, another kind of memory. Um, that's in another work I wrote about this um, that I maybe can call it a, a synthetic memory to create that I create while I'm just looking at these images and I'm learning something about these images. Yeah, and also the, it changes sometimes when I um, find a new search term, a concept, and I'm enthusiastic, and I, I, 
I'm looking forward to do this uh, and then in the end after five hours I'm depressed and also this experience is important for me to describe in a text um, yeah I don't know what I did and uh, what is what is what is this time that I spent in front of the screen and then also in the end of this video there comes a more it's a small part so that that is more like an abstract concept like that I find also interesting um, to see how uh, if the people tag um, an image with an exclamation, with an interjection, ooh, and then I try it out, how many O's can I type in, then still um, come search results, and then I have a funny idea. Is the number of O's connected, um, how does it relate uh, the number of O's to uh, the sunset images? If, if I type more O's, do they, is there more sunset images? Or is there less sunset images? But of course, even you see it is very random. Not, there's not lo a lot of sunset images and horizons. <coughs> so this is more uh, like a, 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 a conceptual uh, approach, maybe. And also, what's different between U and A? Uh, is there a difference? Can you see it? Um, also, um, what is the maximum number of O's that somebody typed in? Which, uh, and why did he type so many O's? So when I have a lot of O's, there's just one image. Uh, and what is it? I don't know. Maybe this is a, also a concept to, to, surprise, uh, to get surprising uh, results. And I can type more O's and see what happens. It's still an image. And I can type more O's and there is no more images. And why did they just type so many O's? Uh, I find it just a, 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 a nice tool to do this kind of experiment. Yes. So. Yeah, and that I do this kind of um, search uh, journeys, um, and then I, ha I end up with the, the folders, and often I don't know yet what to do with it. So often I re revisit uh, these folders after years or yeah, after several years, and that's the same that I did for another work. It was called Ruin, and I it was about the ruined backup drive, and it was two years old. And I wondered what did I save on this backup? What was what images were on there, and what documents? So I went through this backup and see what images did I save, and I wrote a text about it. And one of the images that was on there was this one, and I thought, what, what is this image? Why did I save it? And who did it? And uh, so you can do a. Reverse image search, and you see, okay, uh, somebody has uh, has just edited this uh, this image, in maybe with Photoshop, and and usually uh, before it was this kind of uh, stock image for a jogger, and so it has a face, and who did this, and and yeah, so. There is also this. This is this user that has a Flickr profile, and he seems to be obsessed in uh, in, in erasing uh, visible skin from from women. Oh, is it uh, women? I don't know. It seems kind of a fetish. I don't know. And there is a group, invisible group, and and yeah, uh, it's uh, it's just very strange. Uh, and I would like to maybe so uh, later if I need an idea, I will read go to this uh, account and maybe ask this guy or it would be interesting or find out more. But in the beginning was just uh, this, this, uh, this single image is on, on, this single image on my drive. This one and also I, it's the nicest one. This, you can could frame it. I like it very much. I don't know what time, uh, how, how much time is there. Yeah, 
another uh, another um, thing that I tried to look at. It's part of a of a of a video installation that I did with my brother who paints. But there, in the middle of it, is a part that I that we made. So there's a song. It's kind of karaoke, but. Uh, at some point I realized in the, something changed in the search engine of Google. Suddenly there were these monochromatic previews of the maybe average color or the dominant color in images. And, and I found this interesting, or oh, what is this when I reach the end, why does it bounce? Like this is this look and the feel of a search engine I find very interesting. And the, the changes that suddenly happen. So I typed something in and I... I, I I limited the net, uh, net uh, the, the speed of the network um, on purpose, so I could record this this previews, this monochromatic uh, uh, previews of the of the loading images, and also it, now it's uh, like a random. They're only showing uh, one image suddenly, and you have uh, like a, a, um, then you have a program the uh, uh, criteria of selection because of the image size. And also, when it's not the case, you see the, also again, you see text, you just see the U URL and maybe the caption. And then you also maybe uh, think what was the search term, uh, what is the images that will load. And yeah, that was something uh, I also tried to do. But then again, you could make a single work out of this and maybe you, I would need a... Uh, a better uh, a better concept for the search. So yesterday I tried uh, purple rain and uh, and limited the network. I will not want to do it now. Maybe I don't have time. But yeah, what would, would be a nice search term for this kind of restriction of the network? And if I type in purple rain, there comes a lot of different shades of purple, and I browse through it, so it's kind of purple rain. Maybe I will do this work, uh, but I have not done it yet. And sometimes also one uh, single image uh, just fascinates me. So this image I found uh, on Panoramio, and it's also from Google, and it's closed. The platform does not exist anymore. It was uh, connected to um, Google Maps, so it was geotagged. And uh, I found this image of a, it's a concrete. I found this image, and I found this description of it. And the description says, um, the beach manhole where the submarine fiber optic cable from Dar el Salam joins the terrestrial cable to Victoria. So this is uh, a beach, a nice beach on the Seychelles island, where the internet uh, cable comes ashore. And I find it just fascinating what kind of place is this, and to put my mind to this place. Uh, maybe on, and find some kind of performance happening on this on this on this concrete surface, which underneath uh, is the, is the internet cable coming, and there are lying people around it. And I just found it fascinating. So this was the starting point for another work that I, in the end, have a huge collection about submarine cables and and beaches around the Mediterranean, and 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 it's not a, like a whole odyssey or journey around around the beaches of the world. So I wrote again a text and I made a performance out of this. But now in the end, uh, there was the performance, but in the end it ended up now, so far, it ended up as a text piece I did uh, and a database and a website. So this text is, uh, is, is related to the captions that I, that I read before. Uh, yeah, and so there are these places, and uh, I, I browse and I made a database where these names uh, the, of the end, uh, the the places where these cables come ashore. I found them on on, uh, on the website, and so I can I can just uh, by clicking next, I can just uh, make a journey around this uh, around these places. And also there also is some more personal things. Uh, what is lying on this surface? Is it the rest of a memory? Is it uh, sun cream, a nice memory of a holiday? 
or, or what happened there, and also there uh, I combine it with a, a, like a history of uh, like uh, I have this index, and I can sort by year. So and now the last po uh, changing uh, space is just a is a history of uh, of. Uh, um, portable audio players you, in, in the and beneath there is the date. Um, this was the earliest one was in 1990s, and so there was the Walkman. And uh, I go through there was Discman. Uh, there's Discman. There is MP3 players, early MP3 players. There's iPod. Suddenly it's dominant, and there's the iPhone. And so it's also a uh, history of technology a little bit. But it uh, was the starting point of this was just uh, this uh, this nice image that I found uh, uh, somewhere, <laughs> and I dis I hope I, I saved it because now I could not find it anymore. <laughs> yeah, and just a quick. Um, at the moment, I'm I'm obs a little bit obsessed with macro photography, and it found it always uh, a strange uh, genre. Also, for this is Flickr again, it's nice because there is still amateur and professional photography. Like you said yesterday, it's uh, linking between real photography, early photography, amateur, professional, analog photography. And also it's a little bit a strange, disgusting uh, genre. But, um, No, it's not disgusting, it's just fascinating. <laughs> so, in the end, it's just this image that uh, fascinates me. Is this a subgenre of, uh, of, of macro photography? There are two droplets that look like eyes in the reflections, and even not only eyes staring at me, but they have this, uh, uh, this horizon in the lens, which is a double of the lens of the photo, uh, of the photo camera. <laughs> and uh, so I saw this, and uh, for, this is now what I just looking for. I just look for, um, I just now look for uh, two eyes uh, uh, rolling their, uh, two droplets rolling their eyes. So I make a kind of uh, a cartoonification of this very serious macro photography, and about uh, these droplets rolling their eyes. <laughs> and also, at then at some point I found uh, that I came across the term uh, bokeh. In combination with macro photography and bokeh is uh, maybe you know it's the term for the quality of the background the blurred background and and the photographers seem to be obsessed with this term so during this research I came to the term of bokeh and I thought this is nice it could be a commentary that this droplet is not in the subject of the photography but it's not uh, people talk about the background and that's why this guy uh, rolls its eyes so he's jealous of the background, of the artificial generated background. And so I, yeah, just to end it, now um, I'm, I'm looking at, at what is bokeh, and now I'm obsessed with uh, photographers' forums. So, it, so it seems to, it's a word photographers have a love-hate relationship with one that has spawned many pronunciation debates. So it starts with the pronunciation of the word and on Flickr again there is a whole uh, discussion on how diff many ways you can pronounce bokeh. And again it's the relation of the language and the image, how people talk about photography. So make a list, uh, how many versions are there of pronunciation. And yeah, I go now. Also, I'm interested in forums. Um, that I found it funny that uh, and this is a blog about by the guy who invented uh, or who introduced this term bokeh from the Japanese uh, to the English language uh, in 1997. And here he writes about this, and he writes that there is a lot of discussion going on, and he's almost a little bit ashamed of having introduced the term bokeh to the English world. And so, but I find it funny that even um, in a photographer's forum where 
it's not a very uh, serious subject, or it's a serious subject, but you would thought there is not a lot of um, animosity, or but still there. Uh, in the end, it, uh, discussion on the forum always turns uh, angry, and uh, so maybe I thought I could use it as an example, not a political forum, which are terrible, but also at the photographs forum is uh, is, a, is excellent and. It's, it's not interesting to see how people talk to each other and misunderstandings. Uh, yeah. And yeah, the, and this kind of bokeh term, it has a lot of. I just find it at the moment interesting and I will see what I will do with it. Yeah. So, is it uh, time? Okay. <laughs> so, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.